I've been tagged by the Mudbricker. He wants to know something good and something bad about my country. First of all, to clear up any confusion, my country is not Ireland. But now to re-confuse you slightly. I was born in Oslo, Norway, but moved to Scotland when I was one year old. I've lived in several different parts of Scotland and England between then and now. But since I'm happily settled in Scotland, I'll call Scotland my country. I was going to try to describe good and bad human characteristics, but it's hard to single out something which doesn't apply equally to other parts of the world. Whilst some think that we're all whiskey drinking, haggis chasing, kilt wearing redheads, these stereotypes are not necessarily good or bad, so I'm going to pick two things from the natural world. Let's start with the good. My favourite tree is the Scots Pine. It grows naturally right across Siberia, Europe, Scandinavia and Scotland. It is very tough and can withstand strong winds and extremely cold weather. Much of Scotland used to be covered in thick pine forest, but over the centuries much of it has been cut down for timber and firewood. At the same time the number of deer, cattle and sheep have risen dramatically which has severely held back natural regeneration, as young trees make tasty snacks. There are a few patches of old growth forest remaining, often on islands where the grazing animals can't reach them. Within the last few decades a number of conservational organisations have put up fences around some of these areas to allow natural regeneration. Other areas have been artificially planted. As a hobby, I've been growing Scots Pine from seed for a number of years. This is the biggest one so far. While there are many more urgent problems facing humanity, I've taken a personal interest in the restoration of Scots Pine Forest, also known as the Caledonian Pine Forest. They are magnificent trees, with greyish bark lower down and more orange the higher you go. They can live for 300 years, so as time goes by, in many areas, all that are left are widely spaced old trees, unless someone puts up a fence or the grazing animals move away. Now on to one of the worst things in the natural world. The infamous Scottish midge. Bloody midges. I've suffered mosquitoes in Thailand and sandflies in New Zealand, yet neither cause as much irritation as these tiny little bloodsuckers. They get into every available orifice and can turn a normal person into a raving, flailing, furious mad person within 30 seconds. They like damp, still days and nights and swarm in their millions. The only thing which is guaranteed to get rid of the little blighters is wind. You can forget insect repellent, midges and machines, or even nets. When it's still warm and humid, the claustrophobia of the midgey nets is almost as irritating as the midges themselves. If God created all living creatures, then the Scottish midge was one of his more sadistic inventions. I'd like to tag Cokie Pirate. I know next to nothing about Puerto Rico, what does he think is a good and a bad thing about his country?